What's happening, guys? This is Buzz Mark Paul for Aigan.in, and it's Indian city time. Uh, that's right. There's something called Aisha on this uh, device, which is an Indianized version or a cheaper version of uh, what Apple calls Siri. Um, Aisha stands for Artificial Intelligence Speech Handset Recognition, or actually Assistant, sorry. So uh, A-I-S-H-A. But actually what we're gonna be doing is gonna be unboxing the A50 Micromax Superphone Ninja, as it's called. It's Ninja. Uh, hopefully it's got some moves up its sleeves and some hidden blades and stuff going on inside the box. Not too sure about that. Uh, standard Android device from uh, Micromax, but the good thing is that it's a dual SIM phone and guess what the price is? Any guesses, any guesses? It's only 6,500 on the box, but actually you can get it in the market for about 5,000 rupees. That's it, $100 and you can get a dual SIM Android phone with gingerbread and voice recognition system. I don't know how well this works actually, but I'm gonna be testing that out for you guys anyway. So without further ado, enter. The trusty old knife, uh, finally, I get to use this knife because we get a completely sealed box from the company. So, get rid of the plastic. And uh, there's another seal over here, so I'm gonna cut through that. And uh, that's done, so let's pull it out. And uh, the first thing inside the box is the A50 Ninja. Pretty decent looking handset, white color especially, I like that. I'm gonna put that aside for the time being. Going further into the box, the standard Micromax charger. I think it's time that they change this charger. But uh, the standard Micromax charger, AC pins on one side, USB on the other. And uh, you do get uh, the same hands-free kit that we've been seeing for quite some time. So you have uh, standard hands-free kit your left and right speakers along with uh, inline microphone, push button to send in end calls and a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So I'm gonna put that aside as well. We of course do get a USB to micro USB data charge sync cable, whatever you may like to call it. And lots of plastic in the packaging here's the battery the battery is a 1200 milliampere hour battery so pretty decent size i am not too sure if dual sim uh, the battery will do justice to the dual sim but uh, we get some documentation in here as well so we get a user guide in black and white this time so a user guide for the a50 and uh, a user guide for Aisha, which is pretty cool. So I'll probably go through this one because this might have some interesting things. And uh, you get the warranty statement. So you can get your stamps and everything once you buy the device from the market. So let's quickly get rid of all these things that we don't need. And uh, put everything back in the box that we don't lose anything and I'm gonna quickly go ahead and take a look at the device. So this is uh, the A50 Ninja. Now in the front over here, you see a 3.1 inch touchscreen. Now this is the capacitive touchscreen display. So that's good and we have the speakerphone or the earpiece over here. You have this small tiny A50 branding in silver. Below that you have the Micromax uh, branding in silver as well. Still with the old logo, not the new logo from Micromax, but either way. The microphone's over here, I'm sure you can see that. Uh, then you have uh, a menu button, a home button, and a back button. And uh, that's about it for the front of the device. Uh, the right of the device also seems clean with no buttons or any other protrusions. On the top you have the power lock and unlock button, uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for your hands-free kits. And other headphones on the left-hand side, on the top over here you will see uh, the micro USB charging data syncing port along with the volume rockers. And on the bottom, you'll see the small tab to pull out the back cover. On the back, you'll see the two megapixel camera. I'm not, I'm not too sure if it's an autofocus camera, but you have a two megapixel camera, speakerphone, and what appears to be a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. I'm not too sure about that. I'll just find out as soon as I remove the back cover. So there seems to be a hole here, and it seems to be a secondary uh, microphone, but I'm not too sure if it's actually that. You have your tools, dual SIM card slots over here. 
and the micro SD card slot. So three slots in the same place. A micro SD card slot goes at the bottom. A micro SD goes into the bottom slot. Then you have uh, the U SIM, which is going to be your uh, 3G SIM card. And on the top is the 2G SIM card. And then you have the battery compartment. Let's see if I have a micro SD card because apparently to run a Siri, we need a micro SD card. And I believe I'm out of those. with me okay I do have one I'm gonna pull it out of the white doors and uh, stuff that in there so that Aisha can run not Siri I'm sorry I said Siri earlier but it's actually Aisha so Indian Siri can run get everything in there let's quickly go ahead and power on the device and see how it gives us the basic performance so you get the super phone ninja logo there let's see if they have the startup animation now the screen does have this plastic cover on it, so I'm going to try to get rid of that. There, you get the super phone uh, animation as well. So get rid of this plastic so that you can actually take a look at the screen. So uh, the lock screen shows up almost identical to other uh, Micromax uh, lock screens. And uh, five page home layout. Pretty responsive for a 5000 rupee device. You do have quick launch on the top along with uh, special other buttons. So brightness, timeout, auto rotation, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data connection, airplane mode, general, silent, meeting, outdoors. You have your sound profiles, your uh, toggles, and uh, settings for brightness, timeout, and auto rotation. So that's good. Nice notification panel from uh, Micromax. Uh, let's get into settings over here. Go into about phone. And uh, look at the software version. You have Android 2.3.6 running on this device. So pretty cool. You have this nice backlit buttons over here. They look really nice. Very responsive buttons. Now let's see how I can pull out the voice assistant. So what needs to happen is that as soon as you turn on your device connected to Wi-Fi, it will start downloading an update to Aisha. So the new update to Aisha is already out. And we are quickly downloading that. So it appears you need to sign up with uh, a Google account. So whatever your Gmail account is, just sign in with that on the Google Play Store and uh, turn up Aisha and it'll come out with an update. As soon as you download and install the update, I think Aisha should be up and running. So we'll check it out as soon as this is done. In the meanwhile, let's look at the device a little bit more. Uh, we've got the camera right here. So uh, this is the camera. Let's see if it has autofocus, which is mostly what was bothering me and it does not seem to have any sort of focus. So no, this is a fixed focus 2 megapixel camera and uh, if you get into settings over here you get some uh, brightness settings, scene modes, picture size, standard stuff and uh, nothing special with the app as well, that seems to be just a standard camera app from an, uh, an Android camera app, nothing special from Micromax over here. Um, since we are already connected to the internet, I'm going to quickly jump into the browser, take a look at that as well and uh, seems to be loading really fast uh, in fact i'm quite surprised because uh, there seems to be no lag let's load up our website in the mobile mode right now and see how that's uh, showing up on this device so it loads up the mobile mode no issues very smooth kinetic scrolling as you can see probably and it's not done loading up the uh, loading up the site right now so uh, let's give it that extra time to load up the website completely now it's done and you can see kinetic scrolling very very smooth quite surprising actually i'm going to switch from uh, the mobile theme to the direct theme go to the full website now and see how that looks on this device and uh, yes we do have an accelerometer i believe or we don't let's see auto rotation needs to be turned on and uh, Let's check it out now. Yes, we do have auto rotation and an accelerometer seems to be working just fine. Pinch to zoom out seems to be pretty smooth as well. So that's the website loading up. Let's give it that extra minute and uh, pretty impressive browser from Micromax in a 5000 rupee phone. Pinch to zoom in is also pretty good. You can also read the text. Panning is a little slow right now, but again, it's still loading up the site. So I'm not too sure if it's because of that or the browser itself is slow, but uh, scrolling seems to be pretty all right. So it's done now and uh, pinch to zoom in is a little buggy and you can see panning is also a little buggy, but uh, 
not as smooth as we'd like it to be, but it's a decent browser. It loaded up the full website. You, you can see Flash ads running in the background, and uh, it's loading up Flash ads as well. I don't know how, but it is. Uh, so that's pretty impressive, and uh, we'll see if it can play some YouTube videos as well for us. So let's jump out in the home screen and quickly jump into YouTube. So we've got the Micromax Funbook video that we just recently uploaded. Let's quickly play that and let's see if we can get it in high quality. Maximize the volume. Now uh, you see this black, uh, you see these black lines on the top and the bottom of the screen so that means that the aspect ratio of the screen does not fit uh, the standard aspect ratio so you'll always see these black lines when you're watching video. Uh, also one more thing that I noticed is that the volume on uh, the speakers is not so loud in, during video playback. So that's something that we'll have to see and we'll, we'll have to see if we can enhance that a little bit. Hopefully now Aisha has been downloaded and updated and installed and all of that. So let's quickly get into Aisha now. So time to test it out. Hello. What's the time in London? US, what's the time? Date is 2 May 2012. Time is 13 hours 1 minutes. What's the time in London? US, Sunday. No. Nope. London, time. US, London. Do you ride the tube? <laughs> It's got quite interesting responses, but it's clearly not understanding what I'm trying to say. So I'll try this again. What is the time in London? US, what is the time? Date is 2 May 2012. Time is 13 hours, 1 minute. I really have to see what this understands. So it can update your Facebook status. It can inquire about date and time of weather of the desired location, but it's not doing that. I really want to test that out. So uh, let's try another city then. What is the time in New York? US, what is the time? Date is 2 May 2012. Time is 13 hours, 2 minutes. So it's something that we'll really have to set up and test so it can update your Facebook statuses. Um, you can do a couple of things, but you always need to be connected to the internet. It can send text messages for you, make calls and view your status and everything. So uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to be testing this out. Of course, compared to Siri, the voice and uh, all that is not so responsive and it sounds like a robot is talking to you. But it's pretty good. It's something that you get in 5,000 rupees. What else can you ask for? You get voice response and uh, people will be really happy with something like this in their uh, device. It seems to be pretty all right. I'm going to be testing it out completely and seeing if it actually compares with uh, Siri. And I'm going to be doing a video where I do a side-by-side -side comparison with Siri as well, just for uh, those people who really want that. So there you go, guys. This was a quick unboxing, quick hands-on with the Micromax A50 Superphone Ninja with the sh -sh 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 super blades. Uh, but actually, it's got a voice recognition system called, S not Siri, it's called Aisha. And uh, we gave it a little uh, run there and it's not so great right now. It's constantly telling me the time in my city. But we'll check it out, we'll see how it's performing and we'll come back with a full review very very soon. If you have any questions or queries regarding this particular product, leave a comment in the comment section below. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The links to those are on the video right now in the description below for quick links. Uh, for more unboxing videos, reviews, tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. Uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. We also have a giveaway coming up by the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to get to know about more about uh, the giveaway. Uh, we're going to be giving away some really nice goodies this time. So you want to be subscribed to YouTube uh, on iGAN and uh, you'll get to know about that as well. So stay tuned for that guys. Uh, this has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.